All right, Jennifer, what? Tell us about Hercules. Uh, well, it follows into a story. Uh, well, what's that? I had to explain to her a story as well. Sure. Uh, I guess it's one of the, it's called a monomyth. It's kind of one of the stories that many stories are kind of based off of. This one here's the hero story, which, you know, I guess, tells about the hero. All right. All he usually right. starts off with a status quo where everything's like, you know, just normal. Mm -hmm. Mostly normal. I guess in Hercules, you can see on like the first half of the story mm -hmm. uh, before he gets into his, his training montage. So life's normal, but he doesn't like it because he feels different, which I guess could also say is a part fish out of story. Fish out of water story. I like the fish out of story. That seems to be a little more. It's like it's meta now. It's just floating out there. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> wow, that's good. That's good. Fish called in the meta. Who was Hercules' mentor that that walked him through the uh, his his uh, uh, the little goat dude? The little goat dude. What was his name? Phil. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Phil yeah. 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 Uh, what What made Hercules so? Um, why did we give a rat's ass about Hercules? To be honest, because obviously we're introduced to Hercules' father and the and the the fight between Hercules' father and, and his nemesis. But why did we care about Hercules? I guess one, at least most of us could somewhat relate to him at one point of our lives. Mm -hmm. I guess what could we relate to? Uh, I think he was sweet. He he had a sweetness mm -hmm. about him, and he was and it, even though he tried so hard to fit in, he just couldn't mm -hmm. seem mm -hmm. to get mm -hmm. out of his own way. I guess. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. <clears throat> Zelda, anything? What, what did you when we first were introduced to Hercules? Was there anything specifically we liked about him, or we did not like about him? Or, um, and be His honest, authenticity. He seemed mm -hmm. like he really he wanted to belong with people, but he really felt like he didn't. And mm -hmm. I know a lot of people probably feel that at one point in their lives, like mm -hmm. I just well, sure. don't fit with other people. And mm -hmm. It really resonates with a lot of people, mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. little kids. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I think everyone feels. At a place at some point in their life, and and I was thinking about that today. You know, are are a little bit at a variety of different jobs, and a lot of times it's good that you don't feel like you fit into the job that you don't want to be at, because what that does is that helps you motivate you to ideally get the job that you want. Because if you felt that you belonged at at um, uh, Joe Bob's digging ditches with your tongue, um, you would stay there. You would stay there forever and ever. But the the the, the fact is that there's something inside your soul that says. You know what? Um, I don't belong in this job, and there's something bigger than me. So I'm motivated to study, to learn what it takes to, to move to the next step. So I think it's it's a good thing sometimes not to f feel like you belong in those 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 jobs. I, I have a quick. It's a side note.